come and sit in an empty studio Monday? Fine, show up. There's no show here. What's the matter with these people? You know, man has always wanted to know the future to control his financial fortunes, his personal life, or just to know the next time Hard Bodies will be on HBO. <clears throat> so last week I decided to look into my own future with the help of some of New York's finest fortune tellers. Join me now, won't you? Hello and welcome. This uh, woman to my right is Reverend Mitchell. Reverend Mitchell, thank you for having us. How would you describe yourself? I'm a psychic reader. Mm -hmm. I've been in the business for 25 years. The psychic business? Uh, yes, I yeah. will take the reading. If I asked you to contact my Uncle Earl, could you do that? No, I don't. Yeah. No. Well, he's not dead or anything. It'd just be a matter of placing a call. I would like to read your face. All right, fine. I see through your face you have good character, a good sense of humor. Well, thank you very much. But I see a lot of stubbornness. Stubbornness? And your stubbornness caused you a great deal of disappointment in the past. Yeah. My life has been nothing if not one disappointment after another. No, not so bad. Oh, but on, on the other hand, it hasn't been all that bad. All right, we have some, uh, we have some uh, Xerox copies of other people's uh, palms. This is uh, Brant Gumbel's hand. What do you see there? Financial difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, hit me. No, no, leave it here. Beware of a lawyer. Be careful what you find. Oh, gee, that's not exactly a bulletin, is it? Do you, do you, do you get anything that would uh, indicate to you that I'm going to be surrounded by babes? A lot of honey. A lot of honey? You know, yeah, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean when I say that, don't you? Do you understand what I'm talking about? I don't see a lot of honeys around you, oh, but I do see you trapped with two women. D oh, gee. No, there'll be two I women in I've your life. I've had dreams like this. What do you call yourself, Tina? Are you a psychic? Are you a reader? What, what are you? I read tarot cards. Tarot I cards? I read comedy. Uh, have you ever worked with Kreskin? Three packages of cards. Are you past, present, future. Which one do you want? Past? Let's go right to the future. Alrighty. Well, look at the big stack of future cards. Yeah. Pull one card, any card you want. Ah, wow. Oh, gee. This is the worst possible <laughs> thing that could have happened. That's the worst card you could have happened. Thanks a lot. How many dead cards are in there? Uh, there's only one dead card. Well, of course. <laughs> only one dead card. Yeah, out of out of a deck of a thousand. Oh, I can't go on. All right, thanks, Tina. You're welcome. Is that your real name, Madam Rosa? Yes. You didn't just come with the franchise? Show me your right hand. In your childhood, it shows that you had, you felt at times that you was living in two worlds. That's right. You know why? I was raised by poodles. <laughs> That's the truth. Who are those women out there, by the way? Neighbors. I'll get rid of them. Hey. Excuse me. Keep it moving. Come on. Get up. Get the world, will you? No, seriously. Back up and ride. Okay, hey, hey, let's, let's work with this now. Put your hands on this. I'm like... Put your hands on it. Yeah. All right. Now, what are we getting here? What do you want to get out of it? I don't know. Is this part of it? No. What is this? This is a lamp. Oh. <laughs> was you married? Mm hmm. I was married once for 10 years. Thanks for putting it in. <laughs> I think you about got gin there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make that noise with this. Mm -hmm. Buster Poindexter. <laughs>